Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to update the firmware on your Deviation TX radio to the latest and greatest. This process will apply to any radio transmitter running Deviation TX and not just the T8SG. Like all Deviation TX radios, in order to flash it, we have to put it into DFU mode. So hook up the included mini USB cable. And then what you want to do is hold down the back button and then quickly tap the power button to uh, enable it. And the light should come on and then the screen should stay blank. You don't want to hold the power button too long. You just want to quickly like do a quick tap on the jumper radios. The screen stays blank, but some of them may have something on the screen. But now that it's in DFU mode, just hook it up to your computer and you're ready to start the firmware updating process. Next, you want to go to uh, Deviation TX to download the software to flash the transmitter as well as the latest version of the firmware. So the tool we need is by Walkera, and it's their diffuse tool, which is used to flash a number of their uh, radio transmitters. And it also works with this particular uh, transmitter as well. So um, the, I'm gonna download it from the Google Drive and make sure you get the latest version. And at the time of this video, I think it's 231. So I've already downloaded it onto my desktop. So the next thing you wanna download is the actual firmware itself. And at the time of this video, the T8SG is only available in the nightly builds. So you wanna go into there and then click on the latest date. And there are a number of firmware for other Devo radios, not, not just the T8SG. So download the right one for your transmitter. Now that you've downloaded the firmware, you want to extract it. This way we can use the uh, firmware file that's in the zip file to flash the transmitter, as well as copying some of the necessary files and folders over to the onboard storage. And after downloading the diffuse tool, you also want to unzip it as well. So extract the executable. And then once you do that, you can actually run the installation program. So double click on the EXE. After it's done installing the diffuse program, you want to run it. And the very first thing you'll notice is that it actually won't detect the uh, transmitter. And that's because the drivers aren't installed yet. So if you go into the control panel and device manager, you'll see that it has been detected. However, there is a an exclamation mark on it. And that means that it doesn't really know what it is and we need to install the drivers for it. And the drivers itself are actually already installed when you installed the uh, Diffuse program. It's actually in Dimension Upgrade Tools and in this folder called Driver. And this is where the driver for the STM32 uh, device is. And what we're going to do is actually tell it where it is. So go back to Device Manager and right click on the item and then go Update Driver Software and go Browse for uh, browse on my computer. You can now browse for the file location which I showed you before which is in Program Files, uh, Dimension Upgrade Tools and Driver. Now it's just a matter of clicking Next and it should automatically start installing the drivers. Now you'll see that it is actually detected as an STM device in DFU mode. And if you go back to the Dimension Diffuse Upgrade tool, you'll also see that it is detected as well. And from here on, you can start flashing the firmware. And as you recall, we downloaded and extracted the firmware onto the desktop. So in this Deviation TX folder, we have it already decompressed. And this is the DFU file, which is what we're gonna flash it with. So to start the process, what you wanna do is browse for it in the Diffuse tool. And then you wanna to go to your desktop, uh, Deviation TX, and you wanna go down and select the DFU tool, and then click Open. And now what it's gonna do is it says that it's loaded. And if your transmitter is hooked up to your computer with the mini USB cable in DFU mode, you can just click the upgrade button and it should ask you to confirm whether you want to continue or not. Click yes and then the process will begin. And that's it. Your transmitter should now be running the latest version of Deviation TX. You can quit the application as well as turn off the transmitter and then go on to the next step, which is to put your transmitter into USB mode so that you can copy these files over.
Now we have to put it into USB mode so that we can copy the files and folders onto the onboard storage. And you do that by holding down the enter button and then quickly tapping the power button. And then you should see a USB logo on the screen. This tells you that you are in USB mode and you can start copying the files over on your computer. So on my Windows desktop, the um, transmitter shows up as drive E. And what you want to do is you want to back up the contents of this. I like to back things up. So I'm going to create a file called a uh, folder called backup. And what I'm going to do is copy the contents of the onboard storage just in case I ever need it. So you may have models or icons and stuff in there. So I'm going to back this up. Now I'm going to delete all the uh, contents from the E drive of the onboard storage of the uh, transmitter because we're going to copy the new files from the firmware that we just downloaded. So after the contents have been erased, we can uh, basically copy the files from the extracted uh, firmware uh, file we downloaded. And inside you'll see a whole bunch of folders and files. And you basically want to select everything except these two files, which is the uh, DFU file and this debug file. Everything else you want to copy over into the onboard storage of the deviation transmitter. If you're using a Mac, you're going to use an application called Deviation Uploader. And at the time of this video, it's in uh, version 0.9.0. And you can get that on the uh, test build section of the downloads on deviationtx.com. And you want to download this uh, Java application. And once you do that, make sure you unzip that. You will also need to download the Java um, development kit as well for Mac. There are development kits for Windows and Linux and uh, various other operating systems, of course. But in our example here, we're going to be using the Mac version. So make sure you download and install that as well. If you haven't already done so, you will also need to download the latest version of the uh, Deviation TX firmware from the nightly build section for your transmitter. In my case here, it's the V2 Plus. So make sure you grab the right one because if you flash with the wrong version, it could break your transmitter. If you already have the Java development kit installed, you can just right click the application here, the jar file, and go open with uh, jar launcher. And I already have it launched, so I'm just gonna click over to here. Make sure your um, transmitter is in DFU mode and hooked up to your computer. Just hold down the back button on the transmitter and quickly tap the power button and then it should uh, enter DFU mode. I'm gonna quickly uh, hook it up to the, my Mac right now, and it should start populating on the top portion of this application once it's detected it. I didn't have to install any drivers or anything, but on my Mac, it just detected it, and there it is with the internal flash memory, etc. And now what we're gonna do is select the packages for the installation. So this is where you downloaded the uh, firmware package from deviationtx.org.com. Uh, and this is also the DFU file. So I'm going to bring this over here so you can see. So um, we're going to flash the firmware first. So you want to select the DFU file here. And I'm going to click open after that. And uh, what you want to do is click send. This process for me took about a minute or two, so it wasn't terribly uh, long. And then once it's done, you want to click OK. And for the next step, we want to copy the folder uh, folders and files from the uh, firmware package over to the uh, uh, transmitter itself. And for some reason here, my, my window is a little bit screwed up. But um, the easiest way to fix this, I find, is just, just resize the window. I don't know why this happens, but all I had to do was uh, resize it here by dragging the uh, border and it fixed everything. I wasn't able to do a full install with this application. I had to install the DFU file separately, as I shown you in the previous step. And then I had to choose uh, Advanced, which let me install the uh, individual um, files in by itself, so I had to choose install library, replace TXINI, hardware INI, replace models, and then I clicked install or upgrade. This is where it copies the folders and the files from the um, deviation firmware package, uh, the zip file that we downloaded earlier, to the onboard storage of the transmitter. And this will also take a minute or two, and when it's done, click OK. 
and turn off your transmitter by holding the power button for about three seconds and then unplug the uh, USB cable from the computer. Now I'm gonna demo the transmitter with the latest version of Deviation TX. You'll see the new splash screen and the version that it is running. And then if we go back to the um, main screen, we can go to About Deviation and here you can find what version you're running. And as you can see, I'm running T8SG, the version made specifically for this transmitter. And that's the version at the time of this video. Anyways, that's it for this video. Links to everything should be in the description if you're interested in any of the things I mentioned. If you like what you see, comment, like, share, or subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.